five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fifteen, sixteen. Well, you should have heard all the salacious gossip we gave you in the first part of the show that you couldn't hear us. I'm only joking. A few technical issues there. Uh, welcome back. As I was saying, uh, it is Sunday. We're going to ease you into Sunday uh, in the softer side of life kind of way. It is our weekly destination uh, needlecraft show. What I would say as well is uh, there's a couple of great promotions running at the moment. So uh, over on the website, uh, double points throughout the course of this weekend for 48 hours only. So make sure you go and stock up on that. Also up to 70% off selected lines as part of our winter sale. We've actually got some 80% off uh, it discounts in this particular show as well uh, as part of our Saver Stitch. However, uh, it is, she is here with me. She is in the building. It is Bernie's here and it is a very special show today, isn't it, Bernie? It is, Joe, because if anyone hasn't seen on social media, it's my last softer side today. Aww. So um, I'll be chatting throughout the show and let you know what I'm going to be doing and everything, but we're going to make it a super duper show. And as an extra special gift for all of you guys, I spoke to everyone who deals with the shows, put them together and asked if I could have something special. And what we've got for, obviously I said fabric, didn't I, Joe? We've got a mystery bag of fabrics. Ooh. I've got lots and lots of What a treat. Here. It's going to be anything from, obviously, from our way, all of our fabric that we sell on the website and some other fabrics that maybe aren't for sale now that we've got like bits left over of. Obviously, we'll put them all into mystery bags and that's going to be for you guys. So, yeah, so happy shopping. I hope you enjoy the show. And, yeah, we've just got loads to talk about, Joe. I don't know if we're going to fit it all in. I'm not sure <laughs> we are. We've got loads and loads coming up for you in the show. Loads of brilliant deals uh, as well. Lots of people sending you lots and lots of love uh, already. We'll read some of those out in a few minutes. Uh, I want to, firstly, take you through the fabric of the week because it is absolutely... Absolutely uh, gorgeous. Um, it's the uh, Adidas Star uh, Moonstone. Now, half meter pieces, as always with this. Let me just unfold one of these so you can see. It is the most beautiful quilting quality cotton that you've got here. Well, it's, it's almost my same colour as my top, isn't it? Uh, this is the pink ditzy uh, that you've got just here. That is your first option. Now, as always, we will cut these for you. So if you do order multiples, we will be able to uh, cut you larger pieces. So uh, the details on your screen are for a half metre piece, order multiples, uh, we'll cut them in those larger pieces for you, which is fantastic. So that is a pink ditzy. Uh, we also then have as well this one, my absolute uh, favourite, which is the black floral. I think it is gorgeous. It's kind of just an off black, like a charcoal black. It's very, very beautiful. But then we move into this one here. This is the pink pale floral spray. It's got like a little bit of a sort of oriental vibe about it, hasn't it? It's got a real nice sort of Japanese feel to it, which I'm really loving. As is this next one. This one here is the large floral. Um, it reminds me of like when Joanna Lumley went to Japan and she went to like Kyoto or somewhere like that. It's got a real lovely luxury feel to it. The next one is your pink foliage that you can see uh, here. It's got quite a... Um, an organic feel to it as well. The um, the print in the background, it's it's not linen, but it's almost got a linen look to it. It's really cute. The next one here for you, this is the green foliage that you can see here. I would say that was grey, personally, but we're calling that green foliage. Uh, we then have this one for you. This one here is your pale vines, as you can see. Really beautiful, lovely off-white with those sort of very, very grey blues and lovely um, sort of pink touches in there. And this one again, absolutely beautiful. It's the pink oak that you can see just there. Really, really lovely selection of fabrics. Going to be very, very busy uh, on those. As I said, the price there you can see on your screen is per half metre. We're going to look firstly though at this and it is uh, our builder block, our builder block of the week. My oh my, the savings have been extraordinary on our builder blocks recently. No difference here for you. 20.99 or 26.98 are saving almost 50 pounds over 60 dollars to get a builder block system for 16.79, 21.58 as a platinum member is unheard of and it does um, different size blocks. So you can do 6, 8 or 12 inch block and there's lots of different ways uh, of putting this together. My oh my Bernie, we have had some extraordinary offers, haven't we, recently on these builder block systems? Absolutely amazing, Joe. And to have one, I love having now where we've got Fabric of the Week and Builder Block of the Week, because what that means is people who've not seen this before 
can get sort of onto the builder block ladder if you like and for those people that haven't got this one in their set they can add to them and like you say the price is absolutely phenomenal anyone who hasn't used our builder blocks before or haven't seen them before basically what they are is a set of dies that we've collated together in different designs and this is the um, pineapple one this is a traditional name so a lot of blocks do have traditional names on them and we're actually just bringing this cushion here just so you can see the actual pattern so what you're going to be able to make is a block Love and you're the going to make are oh, they fantastic aren't they mm. i think planes really work for designs like this because they really 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 pop um, when you put two sort of um, contrasting colours together and you're going to make different sizes. So this one here is the six inch block here. But then if I bring in this quilt, that's the 12 inch block there. So we can see there, there's the 12 inch. So you get in where you can make different sizes and there's the other size that you can do six, eight, eight inch or 12 inch blocks in here. And what you get is you get, uh, the thing I love is that you're getting them in this, I would call it like a presentation box. The storage is fantastic. These fit into your cube units at home. So Perfect. if you do have your cube units, they fit in. That's where I've got mine all stacked at home. And obviously you have the labels on so you can easily pick them out, whichever one you're going to do. And then when you go inside, they're all housed very neatly. We've got a drawer system here. They're all housed neatly in here. So you're getting your booklet, which I'll look at in a second. And then you're getting what we, we refer to as the, the roadmap, couldn't even say it. But it's giving you, it tells you which all of your dies are. So whether it's um, the small, the medium or the large, or is it the extra large? Or small, medium and large, that's right. So when we give you the instructions in here and it'll tell you if we want to make a certain block it'll tell you one you're going to have a square the inner triangles four rounds four rounds four rounds four rounds four corners and then it also tells you which is the block so if you use all the small pieces you're going to get a six inch block which is like the cushion medium you're going to get eight large you're going to get 12 so it's really really straightforward to get to grips with to start looking at it and then what we have here is then we give you the design and we give you this as well which i think is invaluable because sometimes the people are put off when they see a lot of small pieces well how do i put them together so we're giving you step by steps here of how to put together and the best part in this booklet for me is at the back it's not the index <laughs> <laughs> It is colour charts that you oh, can okay. make into your colour charts. So you've got all of the designs here. I think it's there 11, there might be 11 or 13 um, of these blank ones. So you could photocopy these as well and make them larger if you wanted to. But get, get someone to design their own quilt. They love this design, but they don't know what colours they want. And, you know, they can pick their own colours. And then you can go and choose the fabric together to make it. Beautiful. So whether you're making one 12 inch one and make it into a small cushion or you're making 20 of them into a quilt, absolutely fantastic. And you see, you can use this. That, I think that's genius to have that in the back of there because it helps you say design. Because I think the worst thing for me, Joe, is picking my fabric. Right. <laughs> is it because you've got such an abundance of it? Is uh, that the issue? Yeah. And also what goes with what? I'm terrible for seeing a fabric and saying, oh, I like that one. I'll get that one. But one of my sewn ladies, um, Jill, she, she said to me, I think it was last year, she said, now she only buys fabrics in sets. So say like the fabric we've got today yep. on the show, if you've got one each of all of those, you know they're all going to go together as well. And then you can add others from your stash as well. So that's a good way of, you know, it's a good way to follow. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut a couple of these out just to show you how they cut out. So if you've never done die cutting before, and then I'm just going to show you how how the block starts to come together. So again, I'm going to use my road map. So say I want to use the large the large size. So I'm going to get some of my fabric. <clears throat> Let me get my. Now I'm using our fabulous fabric plates. I know we've got these on the show and we've got them in all sizes now, Joe. Nice. So you've got Junior or you've got the original Gemini, which is the one I'm using here, or for the Pro as well. And in the Pro, you can have the 12 by 12 or the 12 by 18. Mm. Absolutely fantastic. Amazing. Check those out on the website. So I've got some fabric here and I need to get my square out which size did i use 
the large one. Right. So when you have daft telly nails, <laughs> just use your scissors <laughs> to get the dye out. Because there's little lips in here. So you heard that little click when I pulled that out. There's little lips in here. So these don't all fall out, which is a great as well. I mean, I know I've mentioned before about my storage at home for my dyes is shocking because I have them all in a tub. But with these, they're not going to move. They're going to stay in place. And then also, I'm, I'm going to start off the centerpiece. So the centerpiece is a square. And then I've got four triangles. So I've got my fabric here. And I want to look for the large inner triangle, which is this one here. So I can then go to here, and I know that it's that one. Fabulous. I just love this as well because, I mean, the thing, especially if you're newer to sewing, Bernie, the cutting out, if you're not accurate with this element, then, I mean, trying to sew it together is going to be a nightmare. You're going to end up with donkey's back leg, as our Leanne said. <laughs> you whereas do. you know that's with this, the cutting is totally precise every single time. Exactly. That's it. And that's the, the beauty about having these is that blocks, you may look at a block and think, that looks fantastic. How do I do it? Well, with Builder Block, you don't need to think about it. So I've used my plates here. So I've got clear plate. I've got the A plate. I've then got my fabric, then my die facing down, my B plate, and then my other clear cutting plate. So they're the only ones you need. So if you do, um, if you are treating yourself to the fabric plates and you haven't got them yet, you do want to be using them with it, either a new set of clear plates or a lightly used ones, and then keep those for your fabric. But it's a total game changer for me and the amount of people who I've seen comment after they've used them have been, I, I just, it's just amazing. I've got all these dyes and obviously they are for multimedia dyes. Um, but, you know, if cuttings put you off before, then, you know, you haven't got an issue with these. So oh, I've got a little thread there. So if you have a little thread, you just give it a little snip. There we go and the triangles and then the way I positioned that on there so I didn't go right in the middle and position it so I'd waste the fabric I put it there purposefully because that fabric isn't wasted you can pop that on there and then you've only got your little bit of waste there as well the other thing you'll see on here is the little corners of the triangle have been cut off so there your dog ears so whenever you if you've put two pieces on you get those little triangles sticking out at the end they're known as dog ears that's an extra job when you're sewing and we really want to get to the sewing. So what you do is, you, if you use the builder block, it cuts those off for you. So you don't need to worry about that job because it's been done. So you can get straight onto the sewing. All right, let me get those out the way. And my bits of scrap. But I won't get rid of them because I keep all my scrap. And then what you're going to do to start off, so if I bring in the book back in, and we'll bring in that chart. So we can see here, this is the one here. So the grey is my yellow. There we go. And then we've got a pink either side. Now, when I put them there like that, can you see how they oh, yeah. match up perfectly? Okay. So I'm just going to quickly sew these two on. And then I've got some that I've pre-sewn just so I can take you through. Uh, lots of love coming for you, Bernie. Laurie says stopping in briefly to wish uh, Bernie the best in her new adventures. Uh, Rachel, uh, as well, says Bernie's the absolute best, always full of tips and help when you're struggling with a project or technique. The things she's taught me have been invaluable. Oh, um, that's lovely. Thank Sandy, you. Sandy says you're going to be Miss Bernie. Bless you in your next adventure. All the best. Uh, Michelle says as well, uh, Bernie, this is a bit of a sweet day. I'm excited for your future, but selfishly, don't want you to go. You'll be missed tremendously, and whoever takes your place has giant shoes to fill. Oh, that's, that's lovely. So nice. Thank you. Well, I'm not going to be going far because everyone's still going to see me on Facebook and on YouTube. Um, because, I mean, a lot of people know that I teach already. So I teach a class, an actual class on a Monday night. Um, and last year during lockdown, obviously we didn't have shows here. And what I did is I started doing some Zoom classes right. for people who couldn't come to my classes. Well, and for the ladies who could come to my classes, because obviously we were in lockdown, we couldn't go out. And they were really, really good. So that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm, gonna, I'm still going to be here, but not here, if you like. I'm still going to be in the, in the virtual internet. world. Yeah, on the internet. So yeah, so I'm still going to be doing that. So 
you, you're not all going to lose me. Just you won't see me on a Sunday on soft. A lot of chat about your limericks as well. Oh, uh, I've Susie wrote a limerick T. for today. Haven't I, Joe? I'm going to do yes, it. Yes, I've seen it. We'll be reading that out a little later. Yeah. Uh, Susie watching. T says Bernie writes the best limericks. Does she does indeed? She really, really does. There we go. So there we go. And then, so all I did is I just press that. I finger pressed it. It is good to have an iron handy when you're doing patchwork because it does make your piece an easier. And then if I now put those triangles on the side, we'll get rid of that thread. Should have cut my threads. Again, can you see how that fits perfectly? Every time it's going to fit. So we're going to put those pieces on there. And then once you've done that, <clears throat> you're going to end up with it looking Nice, like lovely that. colour so choices. So that's lovely, isn't it? So that's this one here. So we at this stage here. And then we're looking at the next stage here and it's saying, right, what's, what's next? So you're going to cut your next pieces out. And again, in the booklet, it tells you which ones to cut out. And if I pop the two on there, you're going to sew those two on that side and then press them out again. And then you're going to put the opposite two on the other side and then once you've done that we get to this Bizarre. so it's like it there is a design called square in a square and to be honest that's what that design is that design is known as a square in a right. square so that is a design on its own so to be honest if you wanted to make something with a lot of those all different colors oh can you imagine use all your scrap fabric jaw for the center and all of those all the same color it would look amazing um and you could do this totally really scrappy as well but you're just building up each round and in the book they refer to as rounds so this is the next round and then we go on again and this is where we're coming to this one so we're at this stage at the minute we're going to come to this one and again, we're going to put, always put two opposites on, like that. And can you see how the, it, well, it says it looks a bit funny there that the dog ears are going the other way. But when you put them on top, as if by magic, ah, et voila. they line up perfectly. And that's what's going to help you with your accurate sewing as well. Because obviously you've got your quarter inch seam. Um, we always bang on about the quarter inch seam, but it does pay to practice your quarter inch seam um, just to get it right. And then once you put those on, you're going to put your opposite ones on. So then we get to it looking like this. And we go. And you can just see how it's grown and grown, isn't it? And then <clears throat> you just carry on putting the pieces on. So we've now got, which is my pink one. There we go. Go. It's a really cool colour combo. I like it. I like it. Uh, and the I price like on it. this is unbelievable. It should be £70 or $90 essentially. It's amazing. Look at what you're able to get it for and today. That platinum price. Platinum is, I mean, price, yeah. I, think, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it cost us more than this to produce it, to be honest. Um, it is unbelievable <laughs> value. It really, really is. So I'm just building these up and building these up. So you're putting the grey round on. And then, oh, now hang on. I'm going to move my book out the way because I want to build these up. So you're going to, again, put opposites, always opposites. There we go. And then I've got my opposite. And can you see how the how it's following? All the greys are going mm. the same way and all the pinks are going the same way. So if you go and think, oh, I don't know which piece is next. If you lie them out like this, you'll see if it looks right. So had I put the pink there, you'd know that that wasn't right. However, that's a different design again. So you can make a different design. It, it's not the same as the one in the book because we've given you the pineapple version. But if you merge the fabrics, it's going to look absolutely fab. It's like a little tunnel, isn't it? It really draws your it eye is. It is. It is very 3D. Ooh. So you could do um, dark, medium and light and it would look Perfect. like a 3D, like you were going into the, into the tunnel. Mm. And then lastly, you've got your big triangles that go on the corners. I'll pop this one here. And this, I'm going to, I'm going to get, I'll get in trouble off George. I'm moving the camera, uh, the mat, because I want to show you. Can you see the square? Oh, George nearly fell off his chair. I know. 
there's there's the square. <laughs> I'm getting it. See, I'm being. I know I'm always a rebel, Joe, but I'm being extra rebel. You today. are, aren't you? You don't care. It's almost <laughs> like it's your last day or something. But if I pop it back and then I'll bring in my um, finished one. But you can just see how you just opposites all the time. Always so opposites. Top tip from me. Always so your opposites. And then when you turn it, because it didn't look like a square, did it? Until you did it. Oh, I have to say, Debbie Fisher's. Hi, Debbie. Debbie's just come into the studio because she's on the show after me, and she's she's rubbing her ears, rubbing her ears, her eyes. <laughs> she's rubbing her ears. She's you rubbing her ears as well, Debbie. <laughs> we'll give her a little kiss. Oh, bless her. We'll have hugs after the show. But yeah, so here we are. We're back now, and there, there there's it's all finished, all sewn together. And I want to show you the back because I always love showing people the back of the block. Oh, oh wow. wow doesn't it look lovely really does and another top tip for me is whenever you're making the panel block always press outwards so all of my seams are going that way and i know you can't feel this but that is really flat sometimes you can get really thick lumps can't you in your seams but by pressing them all outwards like that it's beautiful it's really really flat so yeah so that's the pineapple block like i say if you haven't had a builder block before it's a really really good one to start with and like I always say as well, if you've already got it, for that price, how many double cuts can you do? So how quickly are you going to be able to cut out your quilts? Absolutely amazing, Joe. I love, I love this one. Uh, it really is amazing. So much love coming in for you. Uh, Adriana says, uh, taking the day off today uh, from working out. Uh, taking the day off from working out to watch Bernie's last day. How nice is that? And uh, Rosalind says, had to make sure I watch Softer Side today. Bernie's craft, Bernie Corner Crafts Companion, we are really, really, really going to miss you. Uh, Janet Bradley says, how many hearts can I send in the next hour and a half? Bernie, I'll miss you as my Sunday morning coffee buddy. Your tips and skill sharing is the best. Uh, Lynn says as well, lovely Lynn in Essex, Bernie, you're going to be missed so much. You've been a joy to watch on CTV and a huge inspiration for many of us starting sewing. Uh, I wish you the very best wishes for your new ventures and I hope it means we'll still get to see you. Uh, who else we got here? Diana says, Bernie, you'll be missed. You've always got something to teach us. There's always something to learn. Uh, Karen says, I'm going to miss you. Uh, you made me get my sewing machine back out uh, and make things uh, again as well, which is fantastic. Uh, don't forget, there's loads more coming in. I'll get to more of them shortly. Remember though, the incredible deal that you've got uh, on this builder block it's amazing four video tutorials are available to you on our website you can make six eight and ten inch blocks in here and i love the fact that you can make some really really cool funky designs with this particular one the price is off the chart should be 70 pounds or 90 dollars today you're looking at just over 20 pounds just under 27 dollars to get your hands on that a really incredible price right we've got some surprises for you bernie oh, no. So, we know you like a limerick, Bernie. Yes. So, I mean, I can't promise these are going to be any good or not, <laughs> but we've got some limericks that have been sent in from the team. So, oh. I'm going to share some with you now. Uh, this one here is from the lovely Lord Adam. He says, there once was a crafter called Bernie who sewed to make her Ernie. She would win a BAFTA for her rhymes, and the fact that she's leaving is a crime. Thankfully, she won't need an attorney. <laughs> hey, love, it. love that one, Adam. Well done. <laughs> Got another one for you from Tori as well. Uh, Tori says, Dear Bernie, please don't go. There's still some things for you to sew. So get out your needle, pull out your thread. There's plenty of time to quit when you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Love, Love that. It. And I've got another one here as well from Liam. It says, Softer Side is our favourite show for beginners who are learning to sew. Bernie teaches the best without getting stressed. <laughs> now she's leaving. Say it ain't so. Oh, thank you, I love those. Team. How Aww. nice is that? So Adam, Tari and Liam all work in the production office. Obviously, Adam sometimes on the, um, in our ear as well. And Liam as well. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. They're fantastic. I love them. But like Adam found, it, there's not many words rhyme with Bernie. <laughs> so when you hear your mind later on, <laughs> you might hear one that's a bit similar. <laughs> But yeah. you have to read mine out, Joel. I'll on. read so it. Don't, don't you worry. I don't you worry about that. Uh, also, don't forget cool. about uh, Bernie's mystery bag as well. Her fabric mystery bag. She worked very hard uh, to get it for you. Six half metres of fabric. Could be random. Well, it will be random. But I'll tell you what it will also be. It will be fabulous because all of our fabric's amazing. Uh, all quilting quality cotton. 
and it's half price as well. You can see the details just here. I've been told that is going very, very quickly that. Don't know if we'll have enough for that to last the show. So if you want it, you are multi-ordering multi on that as well, which you're more than welcome uh, to do. It doesn't matter if you get repeats, does it, of the same one, because you just make more fabulous things with them, which is wonderful. It's not like our soft craft mystery bags. Once you've got it, you've got it. You're going to be able to use it, which is amazing. Uh, so yes, you've got, you're going to receive, everyone will get at least um, what, £42 or almost $53 worth of fabric for £20 or $25. And even you can use your platinum discount on that as well. So do grab a hold of that. We're going to go and move on to these. Um, and these have been produced in association uh, with the Quilters Guild, which is quite exciting. It's a selection of dies for you. The first one we've got here is the Kaleidoscope Wheel. I love this particular one here. You can make coasters with this, build it into quilts if you want to. Also bags, cushions, uh, lots of different options for you when it comes to putting this together. This one here is the Geometric Bloom that we also have available at the moment as well. And then finally this one as well. Half price deal on all of these, which is wonderful. This is the Coxcomb Applique uh, that you've got on that one just there. So uh, do grab a hold of those. Uh, Geometric, this one's the uh, Coxcomb, so I'll give you details for that. There we are, it's 9 dollars 12 uh, Brilliant value for money uh, on those as well. I believe this is what we're going to have a look at next, Bernie. It is, Joe, but um, <laughs> you know, I've forgotten to bring the samples over for them, so I can't even show you the samples, I'll show you the pictures. Where? I'm looking, I'm thinking, where's my box for these? And, yeah, I forgot to bring it over. So we have a, a unit next door where all of our soft craft samples are. We bring them all over on a big trolley and big... Um, tubs, so it's very glamorous before the show. And our Tracy, who is backstage today, helps. Yeah, she's really, really good. Um, so thank you, Tracy, for all your help. I've got lots of thank yous to, throughout the show. But yeah, so I've got the I've got the die set here. What these are is ama absolutely amazing that we worked with um, the Quilters Guild on these because the Quilters Guild don't work with just anyone. Do they not? Uh, no, oh, they don't. Fancy. And we managed, not me personally, but we managed to be able um, a couple of years ago to go to the um, museum that's in York and mm. we discussed with them, or the company, <laughs> discussed with them which, um, which of the original pieces of, we'll call it pieces of art, so when you look at old quilts, they're absolutely fantastic. We looked at which ones we could look to sort of, change into a die set to make it into a die set so you know there's a lot of honestly the amazing work <laughs> that people did years ago and it was all by hand as well but obviously now we have the luxury of die cutting machines we have we don't have as much time to be able to do stuff by hand even though some people do like to stitch by hand so having the die sets in there is absolutely perfect and you get the leaflet inside to make three projects on each one and the one that I'm going to use today is the Coxcomb Applique because what I want to do is I'm not, I'm not going to make a quilt, I'm not going to make a cushion, I'm not going to make a tote bag, I'm not going to make placemats, I'm actually going to make a little holder for my rotary cutter and use one of the die elements just as a um, decoration piece. Okay, so it just shows that you don't have to, you know, if you want to start off with those, you can, but you don't need to. And if I just quickly show you the um, leaflet inside... Oh, it's actually on the back as well, actually. This is how it was inspired by the Coxcomb quilt that was made between 1870 and 1890. So they always <laughs> estimate the dates of when things were made. But this is the one that we sort of use for inspiration. And then what you're getting in here is the step-by-step -step guys. And you can see it, it looks quite similar to the layout of the builder block. So what we want to try and do is keep everything uniform. So whatever system or die system that you're using, you've got a, um, a really sort of, you get used to the way it's laid out. So you're getting all of your cutting charts in here and then you're getting how to construct a 12 and a half inch raw block. So that's 12 finished. And then block. Oh, I thought you said bra build block. A, Builds a block. block. Your bra block? <laughs> yeah, block. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I might do it by the end of the show, Joe. <laughs> You'll never know what I'll say. <laughs> and, but then you're getting all the instructions. So for this one, you're getting the full instructions on how to make the quilt, but also how you cut it, how much fabric you're going to need. And we always give you sort of plenty in there. So you're not, you know, you, you, ha you will have a little bit left 
um, for if you make a, a little mistake, um, because we all do, we all make mistakes. Wait, I'll tell you about the mistake I made later in the oh. show. On my next demo, I made a right little a little mistake. <laughs> um, but all of the projects you're getting in here, you're getting all of those details in there to help you. But like I say, I'm going to make a little case. Now, the other thing that I'm going to use is our Junior Shape Creator. I love it. I love it. I love this one. This is great if you... If you like grocery cutting, but you're a little bit wobbly with it. So if you're a little bit wobbly, as in if you're cutting with your ruler and your ruler moves or you're not very confident, in here you're getting grooves in here. So there's all grooves in all of this. Oh, oh with the light. And what you do is your blade's going to go in those grooves and it keeps hold of your fabric so it doesn't move. So I'm going to make a little case. So what I need is, I'm going to start off with a ten and a half inch square and I'm using this beautiful, beautiful fabric. Um, this is the black floral, it's gorgeous isn't it Joe? Absolutely love it. So what I'm going to do is, I've got it already folded there and I'm going to put it underneath and then what I'm going to do is, whenever you're starting to cut, you're always going to tidy up your side edge first. So I'm just lining up. <clears throat> the bottom line on here now it doesn't need to be the bottom line if you've got a thinner piece of fabric you could line up this line but as long as your fabric's between the diamonds and the diamonds are for you to start off cutting where you put your blade in but once you get used to this you find that you'll start you can start halfway up once you get the the hang of it so you're just going to cut off the very edge all the raw edges because you always want to start with a, a neat edge so your blade goes in you see here i'm using our 28 mil but the 25 uh, the 45 and the 60 will go through as well so i've needed my edge now normally what you do is move that move your ruler to do i'm not going to i'm not going to move anything apart from myself i'm going to move that a bit so you can see the numbers so we're going along here and what i want is a 10 and a half inch now the shape the junior shape creator goes up to eight and a half so I do need to move this round once to cut it. Now, because I've got my neat edge there, what I can do, which way shall I do it better? I think I folded it the wrong way, Joe. I meant to do it the other way. There oh, no, no, no. Meant to do it what the other way. What are you going to do, fire? Yeah. <laughs> Can't do that, can they? <laughs> So I'm going to fold it up. Let me fold it outwards. I know I'm wasting fabric here because <coughs> obviously you, you'd have a narrower piece. There we go. So because I've, I've put it on the fold, so I'm going to line my fold up with that raw, that um, zero line there. And because I want a piece that's, what did I say, ten and a half inch? So I'm going to cut it at five and a half. So that's going to give me 11. So this is what you do if your piece is longer than the shape creator. Okay. okay. So let me open it back up. There we go. And then I'm going to show you a bit of a trick. So I'm going to line it up on my cutting mat. And you would start from zero. I've actually got it at 10 here just because it's over here behind where you can't see anything. <laughs> and I'm going to neaten up that raw edge. There we go. Perfect. And then I'm going to turn it around. And this is where you're going to use your mat. So ideally you would move, use your, turn your mat. So you're starting at the zero. But I'm going to start on the 25. So if I've got 25 there, I'm going to take off. I want it to be 10 and a half. So that's, uh, what's that? 15, 14 and a half I want to be at. So then I'm going to line up my zero line on the 14 and a half and cut it again and then I know that I'm going to have ten and a half inches and it seems a little bit strange but actually you can cut bigger pieces with this even though it goes up to eight and a half it goes up to twelve the other way so you know that you're always going to be able to have that extra 
sort of allowance by using your mat. There we Perfect. go. So I just need to do the last one. There we go. Right, so I want my ten and a half inch square. I'm sure I might have cut that uh, a bit short, Joe. Let me look. Let me look. Oh, that's right, ten and a half. There we go. So I only need one, but I've cut two. And then I've got a piece of wadding. Now, with the wadding, I always like to cut it a little bit shorter. So I've cut this at ten. And I'm going to get my stick and spray for fabric. Fabulous. So this is a temporary one. We love this one. And I'm just going to lay it on the top like that. Spray. Oh, I haven't got much left of this. Oh, dear. Be enough for today. There we go. Always spray your wadding rather than your fabric. Why do we do that, Bernie? So what happens is because if if with any spray, sometimes a, like a gloop might come out, right. <laughs> like a little gloop, um, and it'll soak in. So if you let it soak into the wadding first, and then it adheres to the fabric. However, if you do get um, where it shows through on your fabric and it looks a little bit wet, it does wash. It washes away because this is only temporary. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so it will wash away. So then I've got two squares, and then I've got. Oh, this is the pink, I can't remember, was this the ditzy pink, pink ditzy, ditzy pink. wasn't it? It is indeed, it's very busy across <coughs> all of those, um, all of those uh, Adidas Star fabrics and I'll give you a reminder of those very, very shortly as well. I'll tell you what I was looking at, Joe. when you held the pink oak one up before, mm. it didn't have go with your jumper, Does, lovely. It? Yeah, yeah. the pink, the oak is beautiful, yeah. the oak and the ditzy work together, I mean they all work together beautifully, don't they? <laughs> Such beautiful fabric. So I'm just going to show you what my thinking is behind this. So what I did was I put my rotary cutter on my ruler and said, right, well, I've got, that's the width it's going to be. That's how wide it's going to be. So when we've finished, it's just going to be a little, just like a little pouch. It could be a glasses case as well. But I always add like a couple of inches on. I put whatever I want on there and add a couple of inches on. I'm just going to quickly sew around here all the way around the outside. Um, this is where it doesn't matter too much about your quarter inch um, seam allowance. It's as long as, you, I always say, if you, as long, if it's not patchwork, as long as you stay pretty consistent, you're gonna be okay. So I'm just gonna stitch all the way around here. Um, so yeah, so I'm looking forward to doing next, more teaching, Joe. Um, if people are following me already on Facebook, they're not gonna lose me. Excellent, they'll still, still find you. You'll yeah, still be there. I'll still be lots, on there. Lots of love coming in for you still as well, Bernie. Michelle says, I love that no matter how long you've been sewing, Bernie still manages to teach you great tips. I love seeing her make some projects. I love her enthusiasm and she inspires others. Uh, Carolyn says, I love the way she talks about her daft nails. <laughs> I know, my daft telly nails. But they do go in the way sometimes. But obviously, they, we need to look nice when she we... She says also, she's so down to earth and you get no no airs or graces, but no, no airs and graces uh, with our Bernie, which is fabulous. There <laughs> well, you are. Well, speaking of which, Jo, um, I was watching a bit of the show last night when um, everyone was messaging in with the funny stories. Oh, yes, you said you had one for I've me. I've got one. Do you oh, want to hear it? Yes, please. <laughs> so funny so um a few years ago i had the um privilege of when i was working i got to travel to cyprus a few times right um and the second time i went i went on my own so the first time i went with my boss second time I went on my own i'm not a i'm not a very good flyer i'm right. a little bit nervous flying so anyway what I did was well, I got, got on the plane, I was quite fine, and I wasn't driving when I got back, so I thought, oh, I'll have a little, just a little cheeky tipple on the, on the plane, you know, just one. Um, so anyway, the, um, the lady came round, what, what, the stewardess came round, yeah. thank you, Warren. Yeah, the stewardess came round, and she <coughs> asked for me a drink, I said yes, and she said, would you like ice in that? And I said, yes, please. So she... <laughs> So she give us put the drink on the side of the trolley. She got oh, I think I'll I'll get these my scissors. She got the tongs and she got the ice out the bucket and as she went to drop it into my drink, it pinged out of the prongs and shot down my Oh front no of the What did she and say? It sat in my bra I said, Yay! I said bra <laughs> Why, Was she and embarrassed? So, e, she was mortified. This, the bloke that was sitting next to me, Joe, he couldn't keep a straight face. I mean, I was laughing, but I was more in shock. And the best bit was, Joe, she went, 
would you like me to get rid of it for you? <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, it's okay. You can use the tongs. I've got visions of it going back in with the tongs, tongs trying to get it out. So I'm there like fishing this ice cube. <laughs> out of my top and I said can I have another ice cream please and she said do you want to get it out so yeah. she gave us the tongs for me to get it out myself that's <laughs> hilarious it was so funny it, it, <laughs> it helped actually because I, I say I am a nervous flyer so it did really really help but yeah it was funny oh bless her but <laughs> yeah it, Aaron's asking if it cooled me down it did the bloke next to me though he was every so often through the flight it was like four hour flight I think it is it just kept chuckling every now and again and I was I just like shut up I was <laughs> going shut up <laughs> it was so funny he it was bless that's, her that's a brilliant story oh really is. it is funny isn't it right um, time to get me dibber dabber yo out. we do We've this got, every week we did we every did it last week, week. We I it's a it's seed dab. I think it was dab. I think it's a dibber. 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 I think it's a dibber. So all I've done is turn that through. I don't think it's either of those things. I think we do this every week and someone tells us what it is. I know. You thought straight. we'd have learned by now, wouldn't you? Yeah, they thought we would, Joe, but we just, we haven't, have we? What we like. So I'm just going to give that a quick little press. Now I know I'm looking at the time and I know we're going to be, yeah. Uh, how much I'm going to get done of this but if I don't get it all quite finished I can what I'll do Joe I thought if I finish this after the show um it is a dibber we were right is we it, did a dibber? Get there. it only took us you know a year two years nearly but we <laughs> in the end so what I thought Joe is what I make today if it doesn't go into the 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 thing demo of the show um, it, I can give them to you to do them as a giveaway if you would like. Fabulous, I'd love that. And some little makes out. Yeah, I'll so do a little giveaway on my Facebook page. Yeah, because I'm going to make a bag as well, so I'm being, uh, what do you call it today, optimistic. Mm. <laughs> I think we're just going to do a lot of talking, aren't we? That's the problem. I know, I know, that's it. Right, so I've pressed that and there's my little gap in there. Now, you don't need to sew that little gap up yet. However, this is like the easy, easiest thing. Now, I have forgotten one thing that I was going to do. Ugh. Right, what I was going to do was on the flap of the little pouch, I was going to round the corners off. Right. Using the shape creator. So you can see how you've got all these rounded corners here. I'll turn it over, you'll see better that way. There we go. What I was going to do for stitching, I was too busy gobbing, I forgot. Um, just round the corners off so it rounds neatly up so you can do that as well because you're getting four different sizes on there as well so this is i love the shape creator for that it gives it an extra extra use as well and we love things that you're going to be using um that you can use for a lot of different things so what i'm going to do is the the piece here that's got the gap in we're going to fold this up like that but i'm going to pop my rotary cutter there just to make sure that it's going to fit, there we go, and then this bit is going to come over like this and fasten here. So, what this is where I thought I'd use that die set just to put a little bit of decoration on, and I thought I'd use this little flower here. And we could actually. Why am I seeing like Bill and Ben the flower pot men in there? Uh, I'm oh. seeing like a little. I think I've got two arms, a little face, and then a floral headpiece. Oh, I don't Why know, I seeing, Joe. Oh, I'm seeing, they're coming alive. <laughs> I don't know, they're coming alive, aren't they? There we go. So, if we have that die on there, and I've, here's one that I've cut out earlier, I'm going to put a little, I'm going to iron that little applique on there, and then, let me quickly stitch it first, because that's going to make sense. And then we've got the snap, the metal snap fasteners as well. Ah, and we're going to put fabulous. a metal snap fastener. And what I thought was by putting the metal snap fastener in the middle of there, it makes it like the centre of the flower. And Perfect. it just gives it a little bit extra. So I'm just going to fold these up here into where I wanted it to be. And then all I'm going to do is stitch all the way around there. And it's a really, really quick really really quick easy pouch to do so i'll just quickly do that joe and that'll seal my gap up as well at the same time F fabulous uh we've got the uh screw puncher with the brass toolkit available on the show for you actually 
Uh, it goes perfectly with all the bag dies and loads of other projects too. Lots of love coming in for you still, Bernie. Uh, Lorraine Bennett says, good morning all, here watching Bernie's last show. Also, it's my first show. Oh, oh She says, uh, I so cool and other fabric related crafts. I didn't dare watch knowing I would buy everything. <laughs> Best of luck to you, Bernie. I'll definitely be looking out for your classes online. Brenda's grateful to have had you here. She says, God bless you. Lynn's very happy that we'll still be able to find you online as well. Gilmore saying, oh, Bernie, we're going to miss you. Wish you all the very best in all of your future endeavours. Oh, thank um, you. A couple of questions coming in, Bernie, as well. Yes, go for it. Uh, Bernie, I have the Gemini. Do I have to buy junior clear plates as well as the metal plates for fabric? Can I use the original clear plates from the Gemini with the metal fabric plates from the junior? No, you do need to have the same size plate. You need to have the same size plate. Yes, and I have asked this question very recently because um, someone else had a similar query a couple of weeks ago. Um, and yeah, whenever you're putting any plates through, you definitely need to put the same the same size ones through. If you've got the um, if you've obviously if you've got the large machine, you can use the junior ones in there, but they do need to have the um, the right size clear plates with them as well, yeah. Excellent. Right. So and also, Bernie, when making squares, do you make them one at a time or do you make each stage with all your squares like an assembly line? Ooh, Great question, now, that's, that's Michelle. A, that's a brilliant question, Joe, because it depends how sure you are of what you're making. Right. So if you're not sure of your block or your quilt and how it's going to turn out, do one block as a test block to see if you like it. Because if you did one and then you'd gone off your colours, you've cut all your pieces, haven't you? Right. So if you do one and see if you like it. However, and then you can do like a, a bulk cut of loads and then do production line. And when you're doing production line, there's a thing, it's called chain piecing. So if you're, so say when we were sewing before, we had that yellow square and we put the pink on the side, the triangle. If you have say 20 yellow squares and the 20 triangles, you can do like what's called chain stitching. So you'd stitch one through your machine and then you'd go and carry on stitching the next one, the next one, the next one, the next one, um, until you get like all of them that you've, you need stitching. So yeah, that's a great question that, I love that. So I've put just a little bit of bond web on the back of there and I'm just going to iron this on. Now you could stitch this. These projects are ideal for you practicing your quilting and using your quilting pattern guides as well. Small projects are absolutely ideal for that. Um, and then what I'm going to do is finish it off with a snap fastener, but I'm not sure if we've got time. Do you think, Joe, we've got time? 40 minutes on the show. Should we have a go? Why I've got to get my hammer out. I mean, oh, look, you're not going to get told off, but it's your last oh, well, day. You can true. do what you want. That's true. I might get an email after, but I don't, I don't need could, to look at it. You, you can knock all, the, <laughs> knock all the baubles off the tree on your way out if you want. I mean, what's, any, what's anyone going to do about it? Right, so I've got my hammer. <laughs> <laughs> order, order. <laughs> <laughs> And I've got my old coasters, well, my old coasters um, that I use. Where's me? Oh, I lost, oh, there, I found it. I thought I'd lost it. So you've got your, um, the screw punch tool as well. And what this is going to do is put a hole in your fabric. So if I show you... Um, Does anyone else want to say, dear Lila, dear Lila, every time you... You've got a hole in your fabric. shoe. So you can see where I've just got one on there, just on a bit of faux leather. But what you're going to do is you're going to have your, and it puts the hole. Perfect. You can see there we've got, there we go, yeah, you can see that. It puts the hole through your, through your work, so you've got a neat hole. Because you can um, sort of put your uh, stitch ripper through or your little scissors through. However, if you've done that before and sometimes the hole's got bigger and the hole's too big then for the fitment, so you've ruined your project. So um, this is great to have. Right, so... I'm using the silver ones here. And what you get in here is you get all of the tools and you get four different sizes of um, the metal snap fasteners. I absolutely adore these. Um, yet we do the plastic snap fasteners as well, where you get in a box with the pliers. Um, just to let anyone know that those pliers are only for the plastic ones. Right. With these, you do need to use these tools here which I've got, and you need a little hammer. 
So most people have got a little hammer at home. I didn't have a little hammer and I went and bought this um, in a local little sort of hardware sh shop. It cost me three pounds. Oh, perfect. So it's not, you know, they're, they're not expensive. Um, I suppose you could but use These, a big these look quite nice and grown up, these ones as well, don't they? They are, yeah, they are. Right, so if I so whatever you're going to put your hole in, have your protection underneath. So I've got my little cork mat here, and then I'm going to eyeball the centre and punch my hole in the centre. And what happens is you can do it. I've done it twice there because I'm going through two layers of or three layers of fabric, wadding, and the bonder web that classes as another layer. So that's gone through there, absolutely no problem. Yeah, just see that little thing. There we go. And then you're going to take your piece, and I want the nice piece on the outside. Push that through there. And look out straight away how that's lifted that. Just that one little piece of applique. And you could put more if you want. You could put a little couple of little leaves on there as well. And I thought because it mirrors, obviously, that it's got flowers on the fabric. And then if I turn it over, you can see where it's gone through to the other side. And then you need to, now I need to make sure I get the right piece on here. Not that piece, that one. There we go. And then also in the little kit, you get this little disc. And what this is, as you can see there, it's just a little chunk of metal. And what that does is, it, it prote again, it protects your work surface. But also, obviously, when you're hammering, you don't want it to slip. And there's like a little lip on the side and it just holds it in place and then you're going to get the tool and I hope I pick the right one up I think I've got the right one and you pop that into the center and then right, I'm going to be noisy now ready oh it's like I've got the builders in there we go give it a good hammer and that is not going anywhere fabulous that's on there solid and then we're going to do the other side now what you could do is do this before you sew it together but if it goes if it moves a bit when you're sewing it they're going to be out of alignment so we want to make sure oh look it's going to look lovely we want to make sure that it's right so i'm going to get my heat erasable pen and this is how i mark them out so i've got it where i want it there that's how it's going to finish I'm going to lift this back. You can press it a little bit and it might make an indentation onto the fabric. And then when you see that indentation, there we go. Now you may not be able to see that mark, but I can see it. So that's there where I'm going to make my mark on there. And to be honest, um, I've used a heat erasable, but it's going to be covered up with the snap fastener. However, what you don't want to do is use a, um, any sort of biro pen, the ink, because the ink can still mark your fabric. Um, if you catch it with it and then it'll stain it so with the heat erasable you know that's going to come off again I'm putting that protection underneath the coaster and then put my tool in there I mean this tool's great for anything that you want to put um, a hole into it's absolutely great so then I'm going to take that out and then daft nails <laughs> I'm going to get the back piece we go and we see how that just goes through and the, the perfect size the other thing as well if you want different size holes you can see all the bits coming out in the top here there's two more i'm not going to pull it open because last time i did that i dropped it on the floor and i had to get jake on all fours underneath the counter oh dear fishing fishing my bits out and <laughs> and tracy's going to be telling us where to go if i ask her to do <laughs> that <laughs> Oh, she made it. So as I come in this morning, Joe, I did. I seen her. She come walking in a cup of tea straight away. Does she? She's oh, good, isn't she? She's absolutely fantastic. Um, and obviously, I've brought flapjack in for everyone. Of course, you have. So, Honestly, you I know. can't wait. <laughs> but after the show, I'm have another cup of coffee and a delicious piece of that. So a I couple put of the, bits. <laughs> That's if there's some left, Joe. If George mm. is uh, help helping, uh, if he disappears out off the, our from our ear, he's, put, he's probably just tidying up. There we go. So just check that it's on securely. If it feels like it isn't, then just go back in and give it another little hammer. It's very therapeutic, that. Very therapeutic. So you're going to put all your you bits back in there. You can think about however you like while you're doing it as well. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. And then I'm going to put my rotary cutter in there. And I'm going Boom. to fasten it up. Be a nice and glasses case as well, Bernie. My little case, how fab is that? Dead, dead simple. But it would have looked better if I'd rounded the corners, but I did forget. I think you'll forgive me, won't you? 
Wonderful. Uh, right, lots of love still coming in for you. Uh, Morning Phoenix says, will Softer Side segment continue? Yes, Softer Side uh, is here today. It will still be here uh, on the schedule for you. Monkey Sock says, I've been lucky enough to attend both face-to-face -face and Zoom workshops hosted by Burning. She is every bit as lovely, helpful and great teacher as she appears on screen. How nice is that? Oh, I'm a and Val. Is it? Yeah, Monkey Sock. Is that on YouTube? I Monkey Socks on YouTube. On YouTube. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's my favourite. Uh, Enchanted Crafty Fairies, uh, thank you for all your great tips and inspiration, buddies. Your demos are great. Wish you all the best in the future. Uh, Helen says, out of all Bernie's sewing projects, a strawberry tote fold away bag was my fave. The strawberry block I've used in my picnic set. Uh, as well. Uh, Michelle says, Burning has such a relaxed, easygoing way of teaching, which helps us stress less with our sewing. She reminds us that mistakes happen, but can be easily fixed in our learning experience. Uh, Diane says as well, love your holiday sweater. You look smashing, girl. Happy Christmas. Uh, one more for now. Um, Carol says, I've watched some of your shows and have been inspired to quilt. So my Christmas presents are the cutting plates and some dyes to get started. Thank you for inspiring me. Uh, right. Remember as well, if you want to go for the appliques, they are there available for you. Three different designs for you. So you've got the kaleidoscope, you've got the wheel, and also the coxcomb as well. So they're all available there for you over uh, on the website. Make sure you go and check those out. Next up, I need to turn you back. Some of you are struggling to find the mystery bag. Uh, over on the website. It is now there in the Shop the Show category for you. Do not worry. You will receive six mystery half metres of fabric. So this is just to give you an idea of what you could be getting. You could be getting, oh yeah, some Liberty fabric. That is what you could be getting in here in a mystery bag. I know. Uh, you could be getting, and you will no doubt be getting some gorgeous planes as well. Um, oh, this is lovely. <gasps> from, one of, from my favourite collection, Bernie. Oh, the ones with the bees on. You might be getting some of that. You might be getting some of this beautiful. Love that cloud one. I've not seen that before. Uh, we've got florals in here. Uh, you might be getting some lovely festive items. What I can tell you though is plot twist. All of our all of our uh, fabric is amazing quilting quality cotton, uh, and it is all stinking gorgeous. So definitely multi order on those. Loads of you uh, are multi ordering on that mystery bag. Very very busy, saving you more than you're spending. That's before your club inspired discount comes off of there as well. Don't forget. Over on the website, the winter sale is running. It's here now, up to 70% off selected lines. However, plot twist, forget about that for this show because we have a whole save a stitch section of this show where there are deals saving you up to 80%. So check the website for those, crafterscompanion.co.uk dot com or dot eu something else i need to tell you about that's an absolute corker of a deal is this week's sewing deal of the week which is awesome uh, this is amazing i may have knocked those pens over about eight times uh, but in here you're buying the quilting pattern reference guide which is fabulous for allowing you to line everything up getting that perfect alignment you pay for that and then you get ready ready you get all this for free quilting clips quilting clips quilting clips quilting clips quilting clips you get the binding tool you get the heat erasable pens and you get the quilting gloves as well. You don't pay for any of that, which is amazing. Right, lots of surprises for burning today. Uh, we've got one now for you uh, as well. We've got a message for you from the lovely George A. Kid. Oh, George. He's off in Pandorland, isn't he? He is. Hello, Bernie. It's George here. Well, can you believe it? It is your last show on Crafters TV today. I can't believe where time has gone. Just want to say thank you for everything you've done for me over the last few months. It's been an absolute pleasure to get to know you, to work with you. I feel very honoured. And thank you for all your wonderful baking delights that you've made while I've been there. It's an absolute joy to sample those baking delights. Um, I know what you're thinking. George, there's something a bit different about you. I've lost a little bit of weight, if that's what you're thinking. Um, but I wish you all the best. I'll see you very, very soon. Take care. Goodbye. Oh, oh thank you, John. I filled up there. Oh, oh bless him. Oh, you would like he to looks a bit little... different, isn't he? For anyone that is thinking, <laughs> <laughs> maybe hasn't been watching me, I'm thinking, why is George dressed like that? George is in panto at the moment. He's playing a dame. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know. And for those of you across the pond that are not familiar with the concept of panto, you're thinking... What on earth is that all about? <laughs> Lovely, though, to hear from George, wasn't it, Bernie? Oh, it was. Oh, I was thrilled with that. You, you've lot have been up to all sorts, haven't you? I was thinking, well, write a limerick, and they'll love that. And you've all been doing all sorts. Oh, um, the next half hour might be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> However, uh, Joe, where am I at? I've, I'm prepared. Are you? <laughs> You're prepared. 
<laughs> We've got one each. You've got one as well, Joe. Oh, yeah, I have. Case. Indeed, I have indeed, don't <laughs> oh, you? Oh, that's <laughs> lovely, that. Thank you, George. Really beautiful. Uh, George, as I know, is in Panto. Hopefully, we'll see him back again here really soon. I want to take you back through these uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, Adidas, uh, Adidas Cita. Uh, that's really hard to say when you're wearing braces. Adidas Cita uh, <laughs> fabrics that we've got on the show. Is it Adidas Cita or is it Adidas Star? Cita. Adidas Sitar. Adidas. That, that's probably easier for you. Adidas Sitar. <laughs> Sitar. <laughs> I've been calling it Adidas Star all morning. Adi then Adidas Sitar. Uh, what's a Sitar? Oh, it's a, it's a Sitar, one of those. Sitar. It's like an instrument, isn't it? There, uh, there you uh, are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell I'm from Essex. Anyway, let's move on. Let's take you through them. The pink ditzy, 15% of that one has gone. Black floral, 30% gone. This is my fave. Love this. Then you've got this one here, which is your uh, pink pale floral spray. Very busy there. This one, the large floral, 45% gone. It's got a bit of... I'm going to open this one up for you whilst we're here because it's got a bit. It gives me slightly oriental vibes, but it also gives me like Palace of Versailles you know, very gorgeous, traditional, sort of French upholstery kind of vibes as well. I absolutely love it. I've also worked out that vibe is my new word, uh, Bernie, that I, I just can't stop saying. <laughs> and you know when you make a conscious effort to stop saying a word, and then every time you say it, you go, oh, in your head, oh, I, get, I said it again. <laughs> uh, but yes, really, really beautiful. Uh, that one just said, let me fold that up because I want to get told off by Tracy. Uh, then the next one we've got here for you, Pink foliage, really, really beautiful. A fifth of that one has gone. Got the green foliage, a quarter of that one has gone. The pale vines, very busy there. And then the pink oak here, 15% of that one has gone. Right, I've also got to mention some faux leather for you and also some new colours. You won't have seen this yet on the website, which is very, very uh, exciting. Uh, really brilliant, very easy to work with, very easy to care for uh, compared to genuine leather. Uh, what you've got here for you, start off with this one, maroon, which is this one here. Really beautiful, it's a half yard uh, on this one. Uh, how much has this one's gone, Erin? 16% of the stock here has gone. Uh, then we also have the beige, 15% of the stock of the beige has gone. Oh, you love the pink though, 30% of the pink has gone. It's buttery, buttery soft this Bernie, isn't it? What sort of stuff are we gonna use this for? It's, so, it's perfect for bag making, absolutely perfect. But the little wallets, like that rotary case, cutter case that I made there is perfect for it. And like you say, it's, it's easy to care for because it's wiped clean and you iron it from the reverse side and it irons absolutely beautifully. And I love it so much, I'm going to use the maroon one in my short. It's extra wide as well, so it's half a yard, but it's extra wide, so I'm not sure if it's 50 four inches wide or 60 wide but it's wider than your normal quilt and cotton which is 43 44 inches so yeah absolutely fantastic so i'm going to be i'm going to be doing a bag job wonderful i'll just Yay. quickly show you the details of uh, the collection that we've got on these for you fantastic price uh here uh, the brilliant thing is you are well you're buying one and we give you two free <laughs> which is amazing so 29.99 or 39.95 is what you're paying for this one here which is your uh, reversible pocket tote bag then we're going to give you for free the reversible savvy shopping bag this worth 29.99 or 39.95 and then we're also going to give you this one as well the reversible vintage clutch bag uh, that one worth 24.99 or 39.95 so get all of those together they make some beautiful but very functional bags these don't they bernie they do. So I've got, I've got one of each here to show you. This is the vintage clutch. It's a really, really classic shape. But the great thing about these is they are reversible. So you can reverse them. So if I just turn it through. So you see, you normally you've got your lining. But if we look, we've got a button on the other side as well. So you can turn it through the other way and have it as reversible. So that's the vintage clutch. And then we've got this one, which is a savvy shopper. I really love this one and it gives you new techniques to learn as well so this is a different way of making a handle we, we show you how you put binding on again you're getting those step-by-step -step instructions and you're getting all the dies to cut them i want to turn this one the other way um so you can see and what you could do how i like this is you could have a sort of a, a color for work through the day and then change the colour up in the lining. So if you're going out somewhere straight from work, you can just turn it through and you've got a new bag and people will think, oh, look at you with your two bags. But actually, you've got one. Um, so there you go. So that's the um, reversible 
savvy shopper and then this one is the reversible pocket tote which is the one i'm going to make today um and i have got a confession jaw um, oh good when i was prepping at home <laughs> I said I'm going to tell everyone because I I can't I, I I'm very honest I'm very honest. So when I was prepping at home, normally I'll make like the bags will do will have one handle on. So I prepped one handle, and one I got handle. in here and I was unpacking the stuff and I was getting the samples out and when I was looking I was like, I've only made one handle. Oh I no! I need to make another handle, but I didn't have enough fabric and I didn't have I've top stitched the maroon for leather in dark red I, mean, I didn't have no dark you're red you're not going to get the sack burning what does it matter well it's i just whip, just go i just it. whipped two new handles up before the show <laughs> 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 i was like speed sewing and just whipped two new handles up so yeah so we've got we've definitely got two handles but this is great because you've got this section here where you've got the pocket um on the outside of the bag and also there isn't pockets on this one but you can add pockets on i've actually gone i think i've gone a bit overboard and i put pockets on both sides but i thought hey why not um so yeah so i'm going to be using you can wonder if you can tell which fabric was my favorite jaw uh yes because <laughs> you're, you're a very classy lady burn it's a very classy fabric <laughs> i just need to get the die set back out so what I've got here, again, um, we do a lot of different styles bags and I love it because it makes things all so different. Um, we're getting our instructions in there. Let me just get one of the, the dies. Uh, Michelle there says the, the pink faux fur, sorry, faux leather looks a salmon colour. I think it is actually. I'd say it's cross between a salmon and a peach, wouldn't you? It's I would of say, yeah, cross salmon between those salmon two. pink. Depends where you get your salmon from. Yeah. No, it is, it is a kind of peachy salmon. It's it a good description. what colour you put it with it as well. Because yeah. depending on what colour you can put it with, it can sort of change slightly. It's like some navies. Some things you put them with, it'll look black. And some things it look like, it'll look navy if it's a really deep navy. So, yeah, so it, it is a really lovely rich colour. Um, but I like, the, I thought that the, I love maroon and pink as well. So that's why I went for the maroon. So I thought that would look quite good with this. And so you're getting your instructions in there. Um, telling you um, how many pieces you need to cut out of your dies and then again step-by-step -step instructions that are really really clear to follow this one now I hadn't I haven't made one of these for oh, quite a while quite a while so I did have to refresh my memory by going back through and to be honest I was just looking at the pictures and it that because I'd made one before it then brought it back to me so it was really really um, good that I've got that there just to refer to and you haven't got to then start thinking oh I like how do I do that again you've got it all there and with our bag dies as well you'll find that you cut them on the fold so the pieces have like a gap here and this is the bit where you would put um, the fold of the fabric so I've got some here I, I can't cut any more out Joe because I've used I've used it all to make me back <laughs> <laughs> so I've got some extra bits here that I did cut out so if I use this as an example I'll just pop it down like that I'll fold it back up so you're going to cut the fabric on the fold so you're going to pop it in like that this is the fold of your fabric here where the opening is on the die and then when you open it up you get the top piece of the pocket okay so I've got the outer piece there let me grab the pocket here we go so this is one of the pockets here. So you've got the bottom panel. So you're going to cut however many it tells you to cut for the bottom panel. And then you get the top panel here on. And what you're going to do is sew them together. Do the same with your faux leather. And then you're going to put them right sides together. And what does I'll do? I'll just turn this one back out the other way so you can see that step. Um, and the faux leathers, it's like a cotton backing. So that's where you can put your iron on there. Uh, to be honest, though, I do like to use my applique sheet or a piece of cotton on there because it, it gets hot. It does get hot because obviously it's the, the le for leather. Um, but you can see here I've got, I've put both pieces together and I've stitched down these curves. And in the directions, it shows you, there's dotted lines drawn on of where you, shows you where you need to stitch. So just down them curves, it feels a bit weird. And when you turn it through, that's the outside of my pocket. So if I show you on this one here, this is the yellow cord here. So you can see 
that's the pocket that's going to be on the outside. Yeah. Perfect. It's on thing. And I got a bit carried away, and I was thinking that the sample had two on. So I made two. <laughs> so I made two. But it's fine. It'll be absolutely fine. But at least you've got an extra one to do. And then what you're going to do then is get the outer piece, which is the one that I had hold of before. So there's your there's your outer piece of your bag. And can you see this is a this is a different shape here. But once you put your pocket on like that, you see how it fits perfectly around the top. If you were trying to do that again, say by hand, you know, to get those curves equal, you know, you could go a little bit wobbly or if you're using um, a paper pattern, you can always cut into that if you, you know, a little bit wobbly with, um, with your cutting. But with the dies, that takes all of that away from, and obviously you're going to be cutting multiple layers as well. I was cutting four layers of four leather yesterday Joe and it went straight four through. Four layers. Four Wowzers. layers of four leather. Absolutely fantastic. So what you're going to do is once you get that on there you're going to stitch with a long stitch. It's called a basting stitch. It's a basting technique and what you're doing is basically tacking the edge of the pocket to the outer part of the bag. So if I bring this one in that I've done that on you can see and I've done it in white stitching so you can see that on there where I've just basted it in place. And what that means is, because this is the, now the out, this is now like one piece of our outer bag, what's going to happen is that there is going to, it's not going to move and you don't want it to move. So the end, the, you're then going to get your other um, outside piece of your bag and you're going to put that right sides together. Now this is where your quilting clips come into play. Um, if I can just grab mine out of here. Because what you don't want to be doing is putting pins in your faux leather. If you do have to pin it, pin it in your seam allowance because then the hole's not going to show. Um, so I'm going to clip these. Now you could put extra wadding in here. You could put um, an interfacing in which is a, like a stiffening fabric. Uh, well, it's not, I suppose it's a fabric, it's a material. Um, you iron some you can sew in and some you iron on um, but basically I'm just going to clip all the way around here and these clips just hold all of those layers together while we stitch round and what we want to do and again in the booklet so we've got to this stage here so there's where we stitch the top of the pocket and we laid it on top of the back piece um, oh, we need to pop the handles on, but I'll come back to them in a second. And then we're going to stitch just down from the side. So if from that diagram, it's here. We're just stitching. So we're not... I, I liken that to say it looks a bit like a top of a vest, doesn't it? <laughs> it's like a vest top, that. I almost say you could turn it into an iPad so, bag as well, make it quite a little iPad Oh, bag. you could. It would fit in yeah. lovely. It would be a good size. Really, yeah, really definitely. Would. And you can always, if you just wanted to use the bottom piece as well, you could leave these top pieces off, use those because the lovely curves on the corner, cut those and pop a zip in. You've got a little zipper pouch. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. Wonderful. So I'm just going to stitch around there, Joe, and Brilliant. get those stitched in place. Uh, Sarah Brown says, uh, sending hugs from Melbourne, Australia. We'll miss you on Crafters TV. I love watching you. All the best, Bernie. Uh, Margaret Crook says as well, Bernie, I'm going to miss you so much. S-E-W, so Aww. much. I love, love, love your show. Wish you all the best good wishes in your new venture. Um, Bernie, uh, Rhonda says, Bernie has inspired me to start more sewing work. Uh, working um, my first quilt in years. Uh, Rhonda Quilly, Quilly says, I love uh, the UK, says applique. Oh, well, how do you say it in the US? How would you say it, Erin? I think it's a applique, isn't it? Applique. Applique, yeah. Applique. Applique. It's like project and project. Yeah. Isn't it? And yeah, there's more, but they're, they're a little, it's a bit toilet humor, we won't go there. <laughs> uh, Rhonda says, uh, my fabric cut arrived yesterday and I'm excited because it Yay. looks like it will make my strip cutting much easier. I'm not going to say it. Uh, <laughs> It is so funny. Uh, Pam says, oh, that's some pretty fabric. I need the fabric, says Michelle as well. Uh, loads and loads and loads of love coming in for you, Bernie. I think it's fair to say across the board. 
<laughs> yeah, I think we we'll uh, we might have should to gloss over those them? ones. No. Uh, yeah, we might have to gloss over those big. ones. So we say urinal, and uh, Erin says urinal, which makes people <laughs> laugh very very much. Urinal, <laughs> urinal. <laughs> I like the al alum is it aluminum. Alum aluminum. We say aluminium. Al aluminium. Oh, we try and say aluminium. <laughs> we sound fancy, apparently. I'm not sure. Yeah. To, to you guys. That's the first time fancy. I've been told I sound fancy. Because <laughs> I always think, well, I mean, I know a lot of people love our accent, but I just, sometimes I think, oh, I sound, but I do have my telephone voice. Do you? Can I hear yeah. it? Have Hang it? on. Have ring, 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 ring. Good no, afternoon. You've got to leave oh. it two rings, Bernie. Oh. Two rings, you have come to on. answer within two. Ring, 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 ring. That was the second ring, Bernie. Good afternoon. Can I help? <laughs> I love it. That's my telephone. That's my telephone. Uh, my telephone voice. Right. Um, so I've stitched all the way around there. And also, what I did was I just trimmed those curves because when you turn it through, you can also um, clip into them if you want. But I, I prefer to just trim them. And what it means is when you turn it through, that curve's going to sit nicer when you turn it through. Um, but the other thing what I need to do is sort out the handles. So. Um, I'm going to show you the pretty handle that I made that I did the faux leather in one side and I did the ditzy pink on the other side Gorgeous. but then I only made one so what I did was I thought oh, I need to have two and I didn't have enough so what I did was I've made two pink ones just in like record time before the show I just made two new pink handles I thought well that's what colour we're going to do the lining so that I thought that would look nice. So yeah, so that's the uh, one handle. <laughs> I didn't want to cut it in half. I thought it would look a bit daft. But these things happen, Joe. This is it. When it happens at home to you, there's always something else that you can you can do. Um, and the other thing as well, what I did is I made the lining in exactly the same way, where you join your two pieces and so around. But I've left a nice big gap in the bottom for turning it through. Okay. okay. So I'm just going to tack my handles on. Um, and again, this is like that basting technique. What you're going to do is centre it in the centre there. Um, and what I'm going to do, well, you would centre it in the centre, wouldn't you? That's a bit. <laughs> I mean, I was thinking, I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> Normally I would, but it's your last day, you know, I'm being nice. <laughs> and this is where I'm going to use the pin. And then what I do to make sure that your handle isn't twisted, I bring it back all the way. I'll move it there. So I've, I've gone back all the way. So I've got the other way. And I'm not going to leave loose until I turn it and lie it back down. Right. And then I know that that isn't twisted because there's nothing worse oh, than you a stitching handle. that. Oh, and then you get a um, you get a twist in. And then you've got to unpick. And it's only unpicking, but it's frustrating because you're sure you've got it right. And then you haven't. So I'm going to just stitch these on so i'm going to do about an eighth of an inch in the seam so it's going to still stay within my quarter inch seam allowance and when you stitch these on you want to go forward just start before the handle i go back a few stitches then i go back over the handle and then off the handle and then reverse back so you've got quite a lot of stitches there but what that means is that handle now is not going to come off so i'll do the other ones on there and then I'm going to put everything together inside the lining and sew around the top. And you won't believe how quickly um, it actually is to make this one. It's really good. And I say you could put a pocket on both sides. You could put some on the centre as well if you want to. Um, but I say I've just done the one on there. There we go. So I've got that one on. And then I'm going to move that out the other way and just do the other side. Oh, I think these fabric. Doesn't it look lovely? Because that maroon just lifts the darker colour in those little flowers. And I'll tell you what, this fabric's good for, Joe, fussy cutting. Have you heard of fussy cutting? Yeah, with paper. Heard, with, uh, so exactly the same with fabric. Oh, okay. And the thing is, with a die, so if I've got the die here and I want a particular shape, you can see it because you can put the die over and obviously Perfect. it's hollow. So and that's going to go, that fabric you're using, by the way. There's less than 20 of those to go around. A lot of that in baskets at the moment. It's in your basket. Please consider checking it, it out because it is going to go. Same with the black floral as well. The black floral, very, very vulnerable now. It is. It is beautiful. 80% now the black floral is gone. Please be quick. 
I do have to say the say the I picked so I get to pick some of the fabrics of which one I want to demo with. I'm not going to lie. I picked the ones that I like. <laughs> I mean, I like all of them, but I can't have all of them. So I'll get sort of, so I knew what I was making. So I'll get three half meters. So I thought I'm going to have this one, the ditzy pink, and then that black one. Um, so some perks to the job, Jo. Yeah, uh, I, I am going to miss everyone, you know. It is going to be, yeah. Uh, it's going to be really weird for me not being here. It's going to be um, very, very strange. I know. And I'm, when I go, so my plan today, so I'm going to go home, um, probably have a few tears. <laughs> Are you going to have a roast dinner? No, I've got no roast dinner today. Is your mum not um, doing a roast? No, she's not doing one today. Oh, I know. Really? I'm going to have to have words with her. Um, so, and then I'm going to sit down and I'm going to read all of the messages off the show. So thank you everyone who was messaged in. And then um, I'm going to do a, a post to thank everyone, um, you know, and reply. And there's a lot, obviously, because the announcement went out on Friday. Um, there's a lot of people message me as well. Right. Um, so I will be able to get caught up on all of those. As you can imagine, I got just a few. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. I thought, oh, um, but I wanted to sit down properly and read them. So I'll have myself a nice cup of tea. Oh, maybe um, a few biscuits as well. Yeah. Oh, well, I, t I tell you, I do have to thank. So Tori, who left one of the messages earlier. Yeah. Her mum, Jean. Hi, Jean, if you're watching. Um, Jean's got back into sewing. Um, she's been inspired. She loves watching the show. Oh, amazing. Um, she sent me, I sent her some... Um, heat available pens because she didn't have any and I, I had so, so I, I sent her them I gave them to Tommy and then she got me a little gift she got me some shortbread and a little oh, thank nice. you card so thank you so much Jean if she's watching now she'll be thrilled that she's got a mention she'll be <laughs> mentioning Tori Benny said Benny talked about this bless her um and it it was such a nice little gift as a thank you um and I loved it so I'll have a cup of tea and a bit of Jean's shortbread um, obviously no flapjack because I brought all that in here. Oh, well, that'll left. be all gone. I'll be having a piece of that. <laughs> right. So what we're going to do now, and this is the last stage, we're going to pop everything inside and we're going to pop the lining inside as well. But we want to turn the lining out. Um, you can do this either way. You can turn the bag the other way if you want to. Um, so we're going to put that that way on. We're just going to pop that inside. So again, we're back to that um, same thing that you hear quite often is right sides together, right sides together. And then we're going to pop these. And again, with this one, again, I'm going to pin because sometimes pins are better, sometimes clips are better. With this one, I definitely want to pin these because I don't want them to move at all. So I'm just going to line up the handles We've already stitched that strap in place. And then all we've got left to do is to stitch all around this top section. So um, it's a lovely, lovely, easy make. You could actually leave the pocket off if you wanted to as well, Joe. You know, you can really, that's the thing with our, um, our patterns and our dies. You can really customize them. We're giving you that initial inspiration and the tools. Um, to get going and then you know you can you can mix and match i mean some of the bag dies you can actually change the the handles on them to a one off another die set or change the the flap on the front you could change it to a different style you know we have like the scalloped ones and the tote um bags as well you can change all of those and then the other thing where i'm going to pin is these side seams because you're going to match up your side seams so again and this, this is where it pays just to take a little bit of time just to get everything matched up. And then what you find is when you come to sew, it sews like a dream, goes together like a dream because all your pieces are being cut and they're all going to fit together. Um, so there we go. Right. Like, so I'm going to, are... shall I quickly whiz through round this I jaw? think you're going to have to whiz very quickly. Oh! Uh, you've got less than a minute. Loads to fit in as well before the end of the show. <laughs> um... Yeah, I think you might just have to... Have you got a finished one, Bernie? The the yellow one that I showed, oh, it's going to be the same as that, but I'll do my best to try and uh, try and do it. 
I definitely won't be able to do it. No, let's seconds. let's let's finish it up there then, Bernie, and uh, show us the other one. We'll vote. We'll vote on the other one, and then if it wins, you can uh, oh, yes, finish it off. Yes. So we need to do that uh, demo of the show vote. So the bag that De Ber Bernie's got, or that one just there, which is fantastic. So uh, they are your options. Crafters TV, if you're on Facebook, Crafters Companion, if you are across on YouTube, so go grab those. Uh, we've got another limerick in as well Absolutely for you. Brilliant. Absolutely, we have. Uh, let's have a look at it then. Uh, here it comes. Uh, it's from Jan. It says, oh. Oh, Bernie is known for her sewing. Uh, her quilts are forever growing. She will be missed on her team, but hope her future's a dream and she's leaving before it starts snowing. <laughs> That's I from uh, Jan knows I hear the lovely in the snow. Jan. <laughs> uh, and you, we've Jan. also got one more fabulous video message for you oh, as well, my Bernie. Oh, me. Take a look at this. Well, what can we say of our Bernie? As she leaves to go on a new journey. Her sewing is ace. And we'll miss her beautiful face. Maybe one day she may just return. Yee! Yee! <laughs> I love it! Oh, Thank absolutely. You. Thank absolutely you, Bernie, Debbie. Fabulous. Right, oh. and uh, here's the other Debbie. And uh, we've oh. all we've got some bits Don't for cry. you as well. Let's take Don't those. Don't cry, Benny, because I'll cry. Let's go. We even managed to get Tracy roped in as well. Oh, I am going to miss you so much. <laughs> Really gonna miss you. Oh my God. <laughs> I was actually thinking this, this morning about our trip you. to Florida. I know. Honestly, oh, thanks, oh, here. get drunk. Oh, <laughs> uh, so oh, there's some here from the team. Oh. There's some here from the team at Carter's. <laughs> uh, there's some here as well. I look, I set from Becky Swan uh, as well. Oh. Oh, it's been amazing. Oh, We're gonna my miss you. It's me. And uh, oh, Bernie, so wow. Bernie has written us a limerick as well. Oh, oh, that was okay. quite good. Yeah. So I love that. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, straight out. Out. Uh, there once oh, was a girl named Bernie uh, with <laughs> sewing there's a lot you can learn it was a day to remember when she left in December but not the end of her soft crafting journey no definitely oh. not Bernie, from all of us here at Crafty <laughs> TV you. and Crafty Companion, it's been such an absolute privilege has, to get yeah. to work with you. Thank We've you. loved every single second I'm going to miss everyone, of it. and I'm doing really well, still talking. <laughs> <laughs> You're amazing, but we won't, we'll you. still get to see you. So. We will. I'll still pop in and still say hello. And like I say, you'll never know when I'm going to pop up. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a threat so in our eyes. <laughs> yeah, thank you, everyone, for watching. It's been amazing. Thank you. Uh, it's been absolutely <laughs> amazing. Don't forget as well, uh, loads more to come here today on Crafters TV. <laughs> Someone get that woman a tissue. Uh, loads more to come here on Crafters TV uh, as well. Uh, throughout the rest of the day, myself and Debbie Fisher uh, will be back a little later with you for that craft along. And then we'll be back as well at uh, at 7pm with Second Chance Sunday. We're going to find out what the winning make was, Bernie, before we go. Oh, uh, which one was it? It was uh, number one. Is that the rotary cutter? Yes. Uh, the rotary cutter. Uh, was uh, the winning <laughs> mate. Well, that's it. It's teased down my face. It's oh, well holding it together. You've done that. so well. I thought, yeah, I'd, be a, I thought yeah. I'd be so emotional, oh, yeah. but I am so emotional. <laughs> but just thank you to everyone. It's been amazing. It really, really has. Uh, it's been incredible. Uh, such a pleasure to get work with Bernie. Obviously, I haven't seen uh, the last of her as well. Uh, I'll see you back here in about 90 minutes' time. Take care.